funky, make you wanna love me, love me. Maybe when you with me, with me, got no worries. Good morning, you guys. So today is gonna be a great day. Um, so I talked to the breeders of where we were supposed to be getting our dog from, and instead of coming Saturday, she said that I could come today. So I talked baby to let me go pick up Ace this morning because I am like oozing with excitement to get our fur baby and it's like I don't want him to be the last one to go home and then I don't want you know I'm just ready to see him like it's like all these days and they're just going by so freaking so it's like when you really want something like when you're really wanting something and you're waiting for a specific day it goes by every like all the other days go by so freaking slow so but I'm sorry y'all it is 7 19 <laughs> 7:19 in the morning. Um, right now, I'm going up. I'm getting ready to go up to my mother's house because um, she's gonna go with me to go get eggs. Just so I'm not going by myself. So we're gonna. Um, but I need to go by Walmart really quick uh, because the pet stores are closed. I didn't get to go yesterday because I wasn't feeling too well yesterday. Um, but I'm gonna go by Walmart go grab him a few things and then um go to my mom's house and get her and then we'll head over because this is a two and a half hour drive from where she where my mom stays to where we have to go which is in sarasota and it's like three hours from where we stay because we stay further south so that's what's going on today. I am so excited. I left my camera just because I don't have a camera mount in my car to hold the camera and stuff like that. And just because I don't want it to be too much of me trying to juggle and hold the camera. So I'm just vlogging from my phone today. But I am so excited to see our baby, y'all. I'm so excited. I've been wanting, let me tell you, ever since we had Lena and um, we lost her. I won't say we lost her. Ever since we had our snows from Nina, and a lot of stuff happened that transpired or whatever, and uh, we gave her to um, a, a family in need that really had the same snows that we had, and same color and everything, female and all, gave them to her, gave her, gave Lena to them. So we're happy about that because she's at a good home. So to get to be able to get another schnauzer, miniature schnauzer, and he's a little black boy. It is just everything to me because it's like, it's like he's a boy for one. He's black, and he's gonna be so handsome and so spoiled. Like when I tell y'all, he's gonna be dressed up and he's gonna be the flyest little pup walking. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I set him up with um, a vet already for him to get his second set of shots, so that everything is kind of like going together and I'm not like off track with his shots and stuff like that. So he's going to be getting his second set of shots on the 28th um, of January. And I'm going to ask him um, when's a good time to start getting him groomed because I know after, I know it's usually after their second set of shots that dogs will start getting groomed so that they can go around, they can be around other 
guys so it is currently 802 oh that light <laughs> it is currently 802 um i'm currently at walmart right now just to run in i'm gonna run in and try to grab him um just some immediate stuff that he'll need uh like a bed some toys uh uh, possibly a crate and I'm gonna see what else I can find because I know Walmart is expensive but um yeah so that's where I'm at right now so let's go <laughs> hey guys so I'm back it is currently 8 43 um I did kill some time by uh getting a some stuff some necessary stuff that he needs right now um oh god my hair is all frizzy and stuff but whatever um so yeah i got him some stuff i will show you guys um what i got him once i get back home after getting him and stuff it did take me a while because a lot of their shelves were empty in walmart and the pet stores aren't open yet so what i'll probably do is go back out um later this week and get him some more stuff just so that he has everything that he needs uh per se so i don't have to go out and get him anything for a while but right now i just got him the immediate stuff that he needs like his bed his um some toys some treats some food bowls or his uh dog dishes and um his mat and his crate and stuff like that and um some pad padding stuff for um when he uses the bathroom so well i got him diapers now because they didn't have any puppy pads so i'll just um I'll use the diapers for now because that's how I used to train my other dogs by putting them on diapers, puppy diapers. So that'll work for for now. But what I'm about to do right now is go get my mom so we could get on the road and go get Ace. Hey Ace. Say hey. Say hey. You don't know what that is. So hey guys, so today is um it's January 19th. It is currently 8.53. Uh, it is Wednesday. So uh, I know I left off yesterday with me telling you guys that I was going to go get Ace yesterday. And your girl got Ace yesterday. Your girl got Ace yesterday. I am so excited. I feel, I feel complete, low-key. I really do feel complete. I have my my fur baby i have my real baby i have my fur baby i have my big baby you know it's just i'm just happy i feel really good um i went i know and i said yesterday i got him a few things to start off with i uh, went to ended up going to walmart because by the time we were getting ready to leave to go get him yesterday none of the pet stores were open so what i'm getting ready to do today is to go to pet smart or petco um he is having the time of his life right now y'all i'm gonna get ready to go to pet smart or petco and um get him the rest of the stuff that he needs which is some burt bees i really want burt bees um all in one shampoo and conditioner because i've heard really great reviews about it um people use it on their dogs and i need to get him some puppy pads because they didn't have no puppy pads whatsoever and he does not like his diapers he's been taking them off all night um he slept he's been a good boy for the most part he slept for he slept majority of the time on the way on the way home he slept when we got home he didn't really eat or drink anything until like midnight i don't know what's that about i kind i was kind of concerned but he probably was just nervous and missing his fan, his um, birth mom and his sisters and brothers because he was the last one to go yesterday. Um, they were ready to be sent home to their uh, designated um, owners or whatever Yes, uh, on the 17th, but I came and got him on the 18th, so he was the last one to go. So he was probably wondering where his brothers and sisters were. Um, I need to get him some shampoo and conditioner, puppy shampoo and conditioner. I need to get him some puppy pads. And I think, oh, and I wanna see about getting him a little 
um, car seat or a car carrier or whatever. Um, just especially uh, he's going to need that when he goes to his first doctor's appointment. So I'm not always carrying him in my hand. So I'm going to look for those three items and... I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys what we got him. Once I get back, I'll do a, a puppy haul for you guys. So, talk to you later. Hey guys, so I'm back. Um, it is currently 11:10, and if you see Ace walking around the background, that's because he's curious as to what everything is and what stuff, what's going on. It's his first full day at home with us, so. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm kind of anxious at the same time as to see how he his personality comes out with us or whatever. Let me just pull the camera up some. I'm kind of curious to see as to how his personality is. He is a Sag Sagittarius because he's he was born uh, he was born uh, no he was born November 22nd of last year. So and I just got him, we just got him yesterday. And before I show you guys um, his little puppy haul and everything, these are all the paperwork and stuff that I got from the breeder, you know, certificate, uh, pedigree, certified pedigree at American Kennel Club, paperwork, his uh, first veterinarian inspection, things like that. And I got these little, um, these little, um, little notes and stuff like that from the breeder. So, and as I mentioned, his um, first his first appointment at the vet with us is January 28th for him to get his second round of shots. I know I look crazy today, but your girl just took her wig off yesterday. I've been in a car all day yesterday. I've been ripping and running all morning, so your girl is kind of tired. So, excuse my appearance, but today's vlog is not about me. It's about Ace. And before I show you guys him, I'm going to start off with um, the stuff that I have up here now. And I'm sorry, he's in the background talking. Um, he's in the background playing with bags. But we got him this uh, Blue Buffalo Bits Soft Moist Training Treats Tasty Chicken Recipe. We got him this. I haven't opened this yet. And we got him the uh the dog bakery from the dog bakery the original bakery treats for dogs puppy butters peanut butter sandwich cookies with real peanut butter uh the treat dogs go go nuts for so that's what this is looking like and these uh thing these few items here i got from walmart there's a few stuff that i got from walmart and the other stuff I got from PetSmart, which we just went to. Then we have the Dingo Dental Sticks Tear into Canine Care, made with real chicken. I know he's gonna get tired of chicken soon. I gave him, tried to give him one last night, uh, this morning. So those are his little treats or whatever. Then we got uh, Comfort Dry Disposable Diapers got this from him from walmart remember when i said that uh walmart remember when i said walmart didn't have any puppy pass when i went in when i went uh that morning to go get him so this is all i could find and i've actually had dogs before him i've had a miniature schnauzer before him named lena she was a salt and pepper um then i had and i had a pit bull and a minute and a yorkie so and i've all i trained all my dogs that i've had in the past with um using the uh the puppy diapers they do hate them they do hate them they always end up tearing them off but it gives me time to train them to teach them you know not to go and not to use the uh not to potty inside potty outside and stuff like that so and i put him on one last night and he did manage to actually put him on two and he managed to take both of them off so that's how that goes and okay got him this little chew toy thingy right here it's like um soft plastic or like a jelly type feeling thing here then it has a little rope with the ball on it got this for him from walmart then the next thing i got him is another little like tug of war rope he likes this thing too he he um he was actually chewing and playing on this on the way home yesterday so he actually likes this um and then the last toy that I got him is this little gray wolf little thingy right here. 
I think the reason why dogs take to this from what I've seen on YouTube is because it sounds like snacks. Like if you, yeah, it sounds like you're opening snacks. So, and, and it has a little squeaker on it. But he actually loves this thing right here. He likes to cuddle with it and take it with him and stuff like that. So that's good that he's bonding with something, you know. And I actually have a thing for wolves, but he's um, but he's bonding very well with this, and I like that. All right, and so moving on, um, I want to show you guys his bed, but he's actually laying in his bed right now. He actually just crawled into his bed and he's playing and playing playing with his wolf right now as we see so this right here um got from pet smart today the great great choice dog pads it absorbs two cups it's sleep proof odor control easy cleanup adhesive tabs and there's a 50 count of these in here um my experience with using my experience with using um puppy pads i've I didn't I've never had great results with using puppy pads so I'm hoping with him he do uh, adhere to using his puppy pad or whatever um, there's this this spray called pooch pad that I got right here to try to um, get him to use the uh, to get him to potty train on his puppy pad it says potty training attractant spray uh, um, Safe for pets and children, spray on grass, spray, spray on pad or grass, safe on grass. It trains your pooch to go where you want them to go. And this is a 16 ounce bottle that I got from um, Puppy, uh, not Puppy, but PetSmart as well. So I'm hoping that we have great results with that with the training because like I said, I, I've, always used, um, I've always used puppy diapers and I get that dogs don't like puppy diapers, but they've had a, they were very effective for my potty training with them. So I'm hoping he does go to the pad, try something different, so that way, or he use both. It doesn't matter. As long as he's potty trained, is all that matters to me. So the next thing that I want to show you is um, this little crate mat thing that I got him to go inside his crate. Uh, we have not put his crate up yet. We got this from Walmart as well as his crate and his bed. Got that from Walmart. It's a size small, um, perfect width, 24 inch crate. And I think his crate is, I'll show you guys in a minute. I think his, his crate is a little bit bigger so it gives him room or whatever. So when he's in there, he's not laying on a hard surface or anything like that. So I'm gonna put this side um, Put this inside of his crate also oh and forgot one little toy thingy he doesn't really pay this any mind i just got it because i mean well we're a same-sex couple and because it's cute or whatever but <laughs> i thought it was pretty cool but this is his other toy that we got him and all right so showing you guys the rest of the stuff that we got from uh pet smart um, I got him this curry brush. His last name is Curry, but I got him this curry brush, uh, made for sustain, made from sustainable bamboo. It's for short to medium hair, rubber grip, made from 100% recycled material. It gives gen gentle massages and things like that. And this is what it looks like. It has these little prong things, these little rubber prong things to massage your, uh, massage their coat. And on the back, it has this little strap. I guess you put your hand through it, and while you're giving them a bath or a cup or whatever, you um, it's good for massaging. So, um, it says always brush in direction of hair growth. Brushing against could you cause damage to the hair follicle. Uh, before bath, use curry brush and palm of hand to brush away loose hair and debris. During bath, follow directions of hair to brush shampoo. Thir follow the direction of hair to brush shampoo through the dog's coat. So you can use this um, before you before you give him a bath and after. So and he's getting a bath today. Not to say that he stinks or anything, but he does smell like um puppy you can still you can smell the 
dog or litter or or, or, or his litter on him so i kind of just want to give him a fresh bath and have him smelling good or whatever so um next we got him this top paw puppy with oatmeal mal powder scent uh free of sulfate parabens and artificial colors it's a gentle shampoo it's vitamin complex and it's for puppies and it's a 17 ounce bottle um i know i said i was looking for burnt bees and um for the puppies or whatever but because they i can't find the um the two-in-one bottle so i'm gonna probably have to order him burp bees off of amazon because i did see burp bees uh shampoo for puppies on amazon and they give you two bottles for a decent a, a decent price so i'm gonna get him that but i just needed to get him something um something nice or something good for now until i get until i order his um until i order his two his burp bees set from amazon and they had puppy but they didn't have the uh two and one and that's what i was looking for they only had and they only had one left so it's like dang it's really hard to find so i'm gonna probably be ordering his shampoo and stuff off of amazon so this is what it's giving or this is what it's looking like and it's for puppies so that's that and then um oh no next I, we got him the top paw ear cleaner drops um and this is a four ounce bottle it says did you know this ear cleaner solution gently removes dirt debris and wax buildup in your dog's ears uh, instructions place the bottle at the entry of your dog's ear canal then squeeze two to four drops into the ear and gently massage it repeat up to repeat up to twice weekly um so yeah so he's probably gonna be getting a bath twice a week anyway so i'll be using this um every time he gets a bath so um yeah i wanted to get him something because i don't want to, I, w I don't want him to get an ear infection um from him getting a bath or anything like that and plus him being so young so this is what is uh this is what we there we go so yeah that's that and then the last thing i got him was a small carrier it's in the front room i got him a small carrier just like because he's going to be going places with us and stuff like that so i got him a, a little decent sized carrier for now uh when as he gets older he's gonna gradually get into a bigger carrier or we're how we, we were talking about getting him a puppy stroller so that's probably something we're going to get versus um versus a carrier so that way he can just go anywhere with us and he can be comfortable and relaxed and not cooped up in the bag so yeah so that's the puppy haul you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it um i hope you guys enjoy watching ace grow up and all his little funny quirky cute little cuddly moments and things like that he's something that i've been wanting for years now so i'm just happy i finally got him but girl, I am so exhausted from all that driving yesterday and then ripping and running today. And I didn't really sleep last. I didn't get that much of sleep. I was in and out of sleep because I was making sure he was okay. And, um, and, uh, making sure he was okay. And then, um, I had to, like I said, he had, he did use the bathroom, um, he had an accident or whatever but that was because we didn't have any puppy pads and then he didn't he didn't really care for his diapers so hopefully um everything goes well with his potty training and all his other training and stuff like that so because today is the first day of him training today is the first day that i will be um trying to train him and stuff like that but for the most part he's a really good boy he sleeps a lot and that's to be expected because he's a puppy I know most puppies sleep a lot as babies. I mean, babies sleep a lot as babies, but yeah, so I will um keep you guys updated. Feel free to subscribe to his Instagram at Ace the Mini Snauzer on Instagram. So and I will put that um I will put that on the screen. I will leave that in the description box for you guys. So I will talk to you guys a little bit later. I'm gonna go ahead and um finish cleaning up and getting him situated and making sure that um because he has to take a bath today so i'll probably let him nap a little bit and then get him a, i'm probably let him nap a little bit and then give him a bath and we'll go from there so talk to you guys later Every second, every time.
admit it, man, I swear that she can get it Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit uh, And I know your taste is a little bit mm, High maintenance uh, Everybody else basic You live life on an everyday basis With poetic justice Poetic justice If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room Would you trust it? I mean I write poems in these songs Dedicated to you 